All right, what up, fam bam? Oh, yeah, that's my shield. That's going to freak me out, like, every single time. Um, so, I don't even know what I'm doing uh, right now, because I haven't played since yesterday. But I do know that I need to get bees. Let's be real. Let's be real. Okay, so we're over the wasteland planet. Yeah, uh, we can chill out here for a while. Try to catch some bees. That shield, though. Are you a friend? You're a friend. These are not friends. It's so bizarre that the... The shield, like, talks. Like, I know why, because the Borderlands 2 shield does, but it's so strange. I don't think it has any other, like, unique effects. I think it just talks. Which is whatever. It's cool. Oh. I got an email. I hope it's from a female. But it's not. Okay. Gall, oh, darn it. Okay. Whatever. Are you a friend? You're also a friend. Good, good, good. What is this? Silver. Okay. Well, I didn't really need that, but but it's 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 good. It's so dark. That's not the robot is not my friend, and the birds are not my friend either. Alright, I killed them. Let's go down here. What's in the here? A broken electrical generator. Why is he disappointed? What's in the chest? Rust. It's a rusty bed. What if I destroy this? I, I get it. I get a wrecked generator. It's decorative, so I don't care. Do we have... Okay, it's just windy. Or I guess it is. Yeah, it, it's poison. Um, but as a glitch, I am essentially immune to poison, so it's cool. What is this? Oh. A quest. <laughs> so my shield talks when it takes different element uh, elemental damage. That's interesting. Hello, frog. Oh, you sell things. A lantern stick, a bathroom sink, a dusty bed. How useful. A, a cardboard box. Wow. That's some high quality stuff. I will leave him be. I have no use for your services, frog friend. I don't like these, like, I don't know, they remind me of, like, dogs. But they're poison. Let's rob from the tombs. Okay, so this is an Avakin settlement. This will uh, hopefully give me some good stuff. Last night I lay awake in my bunk. Suddenly roughed hands grabbed me and a hand pressed my mouth. Stop making us look bad, a voice whispered. It was too dark to see my antagonist. I tried to fight back, but they held me down. The next day I woke up and all my clothes had been shredded. Clearly I was mistaken to trust my peers. Their facade is just that, a false friendship masking severe competitiveness. Well, if that's how they're going to play it, I can play rough too. I was not going to fall back on my family's money, but needs must. Good morning. Hello, Yang boy. It, it's it's one fifteen, but, you know, good morning to you too. 
by Karn Hollowbeak, Avian Scholar. The Clipped Council serves as the bridge between the Flightless and the Stargazers. Okay, alright, okay, okay, and then okay. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. What do you want me to do? Wild Florin Hunters in the Hut in the Swamp. Yeah, I can do that. I'm down with that. I do need to upgrade my ship so I can actually get some crew members. It is done. Larbeaks is no more. The Hellion visited me after the kill. He said I knew my mother. Huh, I don't so this okay, it's part it's part nine of the ascendant's tale, so it probably won't make sense until I get all the parts. I expect you polish up a treat. Oh, because I'm a glitch. So he's like, Oh, I bet when you get polished you look real good. Hey <laughs> Thank you for the donation. That's that's really kind of you. Totally unnecessary, but very nice. I really appreciate it. I've been streaming this game a lot lately, so maybe it's not up your alley. Um, but the plan is, once I'm kind of done with this playthrough, I will be moving on to something else. So if you have any um, suggestions, recommendations, things things you want to see, or just games that you've, uh, you've been enjoying recently, let me know. Ooh, titanium. I hope we can get along. Yes, we can. It's very odd to me that they're totally fine with you, like, just stealing everything, but as soon as I do something like this... See? They, like, all freak out. Like, you can't take stuff! But if I take it out of a chest, they're totally cool with it. It's very strange. Come and trade. What do you have? I don't want a beach ball. What do... What do... I can't even find anybody else. Okay, I guess no one else wants to... Oh, the sky. What do you have? You have more things. Sparrow helm, gold helmet, quail breastplate. I think I just got... Yeah, I just got a pretty good... Pretty good armor. Terraria, yeah, actually, I've been wanting to play Terraria. I'm, I'm just waiting until, um, until T Mod Loader gets updated for 1.4 because I'd really like to play uh, 1.4 Time Pierce. I'd really like to play with uh, what is it, Thorium? I think that's kind of the vanilla plus mod. I, I beat the crap out of um, 1.3, so kind of just hoping that I can uh, dive into 1.4 with some mods. We don't have any music, which makes me sad. The music in the in the game is really good, actually. Deliver a note. It contains one of my many secrets. Let's read the secret. Top secret. Tonka dreams about crasberries. Ah, yes. The crasberries. <laughs> Please take this reply back to Tonka for me. What's the reply? That's a bit weird, but I admire your honesty. <laughs> ah, randomly generated quests. With a new friend in town, things will be so much easier. The next thing I need is one decorative bird mask. All right. If it looks anything like my mask, then you're in for a real treat. Decorative bird mask here. I made one already. Feel free to take it. And then this person wants it. No one makes them like Huitlak. That's one more thing sorted. Thank you. Could you deliver the decorative bird mask to Ixtlal for me? Except, where is Ixtlal? 
can I sell you anything? What do you have, friend? You have a loincloth and a Revtheon Celestial Decimator. That does a lot of damage, holy crap. It's a flak cannon. So a flak cannon is like a, basically a ridiculously powerful shotgun. We'd have to wait for all the mods to update. Yeah, that's true. But I have a feeling that like a lot of those mods are being updated anyway. Vile, question mark, question mark, the mysterious and deadly alien. I'll kill him. Where is this Eekstlal? He's probably the other way, actually. I look so ridiculous. Like, this is this is what my character normally looks like. like. I'm a robot, right? So that's my robot head. And then I wear a helmet, and so it still looks like pretty normal. But I got a horse head. And I said, I'm never looking back. <laughs> oh yeah, there, there he is. There's, there's my guy. Eats Law like the gift. I don't need anything in return. It feels good just to give a friend something they can enjoy. Aw, that's so wholesome. Alright. So what do you have now? You have a Bay Matter Devastator. Some wheat. I actually need wheat. I need wheat. Some gold greaves. Mercenary's breastplate, Voyager's helm, Sparrow helm. Yeah, I don't think I need any of that stuff. Uh, I know at one point you need an orange for a quest, so let's buy an orange. What do you sell? A leather vein, methanol, Kozalt Ocean Terror. A big part of it is I'm just such a sucker for mods. Like, I'll play through a game with with uh, no changes to it, like, once, and then I feel like I have to, I have to have something to, oh, that's pretty good, yes, it's, it's better than what I have, um, eight cold resist. Yeah, so we're gonna buy this. I don't really need it, but it's better. And it's tier 3.9, so upgrading from tier 1 to tier 3.9 seems good. Even though it's not a set at all. Two or Mason Queens. Uh, I'll accept, but I have a feeling I will be um, dropping that quest pretty quickly. Pangolin, Combat Medic Helmet. Yeah, yes, yeah. so you also want me to come and trade. A lot of weapons. A beam pistol, a high caliber pistol, a battle rifle, combat medic chest, a speed a spear. If I could find a new helm, that would be that would be lit. You're standing on top of your store. Do I want pineapples? No. Skever and Reptar! Yeah. Wow, a lot of people want Ore Mason Queens. Now what do you have? Mercenary's Helm. 15. Okay, so the Knave's Helm is actually better than the Mercenary's Helm. Shame. Did I look at what you have? I don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. That's what I have. The hatchling's one clock. What do you what do you have? The pixel axe. I really wanted to use an axe, but you have to like hold down to swing with it. It's super annoying. And now I am hungry. I don't have a lot of food left. I'm gonna be eating a lot of peaches. Come and trade. Gold helmet. I suppose I could just buy the gold helmet, right? That's slightly better. 
and what I've got. I think the mystery box is filled with wolves. As odd as that sounds, um, I opened one uh, on a different character, and, and then there were just wolves attacking me. So I'm pretty sure, for whatever reason, it's filled with wolves. Okay. Yep, there's a, there's a thing that I gotta kill. So it's inside the house. It's gonna kill the frog. Uh oh, now it's gonna kill me. Um, what? Did it turn into a little thing? Okay, so... Oh yeah, it gave me the copper ore because that guy wanted it dead because it stole his copper ore or something. Cash register. How wonderful. A recurved plunger stinger. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what we want to do here. Wow, I have a lot of quests. <laughs> um, so these are all. Um, Okay, so it's these bottom ones that are uh, that are the new ones that I just picked up. There's supposed to be music. I don't know why there isn't any. All right, so we'll. Um, We'll turn that quest in, the guy you wanted the Reptar dead. He needs two copper bars. Well, I'm not going to do that right now. Pretty soon here, I will be escaping. We'll leave this little settlement uh, and do some of these little like side quest things. Uh, the only reason I'm doing them is because sometimes the quests where you have to like go and kill somebody, um, the person like the thing you have to kill has good drops or something. You get something that makes it worthwhile. Because the quest rewards on their own are almost never worth it. What is... Okay, so here are some bad guys. Uh, there are a lot. <laughs> there are a lot of bad guys, and they killed both of the people that were supposed to help me. So that's great. Um, I guess let's see that down from a distance. next. Uh, we killed those guys. Is there anything else? Mason Queen, Mason Queen. Gotta get or Mason Queen. So, um, it's nighttime. Hard to actually see anything here. 
I suppose we'll uh, make our way to the underground sewer. I can turn in the quest um, where he wanted me to fight those guys. <laughs> I feel bad that everyone who, who was supposed to help me died. So these reward bags are typically pretty solid. Uh, that sucks. So that got me a random weapon. Just a broad sword. Which is kind of cool, I suppose. Um, but they can also give you like um, a lot of the items you need to upgrade stuff, which is really convenient. Melt here? No, this is just a fire. No, oh, someone wants a uh, wants me to do another quest for him. I mean, why not pick him up, right? You need six bone. I really don't like doing the quests where they need items because they they need you to give them the the base items and then they need you to make something with them and it's pretty annoying. Crafty Dallas, the mutated miner. She robbed a Florin Greenfinger at gunpoint. Oh no. Just try not to put a cat amongst the pigeons. Okay. Are you the, the guy? You are the guys? Okay. So I do want canned food. Canned food is very convenient. Oh. Uh, the underground sewer must be relatively close. Because it was telling me to go to the right. Hi! Um, this is deadly poison, so that is beyond what I can actually handle. So let's dig. And that poison will wear off. Nice to see a new face on stream. So we're basically straight left now, just a little tiny bit down. Am I going to be able to dig through this? Yeah. Saw your post on Reddit. Oh, cool. I'm glad that that got some amount of traction. I, I hate promoting myself. I always feel like that's such a dick move. But I also felt like, how else do I, how else do I do this? Like... Just playing by myself is boring, right? Having some people to chat with is way better. I'm going to need to upgrade this uh, mining laser a lot. This is not <laughs> how quickly I want to be going through one stone. The same thing with my... Yeah, with your Starbound mod. Like... Yeah, like you don't want to be a jerk. But you you need to get exposure somehow, right? And so I felt like I you know I'm not gonna post on my social media like Facebook about it or anything like that. Like hey, follow my Twitch, okay. follow my Twitter. Um, like I don't want to do that. Eating this would be a gamble. Yeah, well I I'm, I'm willing to risk it. I've got my three stakes. Okay. 
what's your, uh, you'll have to tell me about your Starbound mod. What are you doing with it? If it plays well with Fracking Universe, I'll definitely consider it. If it, and if it doesn't, I'll still, like, be interested in hearing about it. So, what are the, what are the, what's the money on uh, me dying here? Alright, so there's the alien. So if I open the door and just start blasting, she's outside of aggro range. Wow, this is, this is good gameplay. Excellent. <laughs> As intended. <laughs> this is a precursor from the looks of it. I hope he has some good, or at least some drops. Yeah, teleporter core looks like uh, two EPP odds. Healing three and damage three. Yeah, I'll take it. Seems solid. So then it's just a matter of whoop, 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 going back, which is luckily pretty simple here. I made a very basic tunnel. And the poison is over. Hooray. It's the old Star Tech with better performance without item deleting bugs. Working on recursive auto what the what does recursive auto crafting even mean? Explain that to me. Star Tech is awesome, so I didn't even know that there were a lot of bugs because I haven't dug into it, but Star Tech is awesome, and so if you're doing some work on it, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's not good, right? Deleting items, probably not what most people want. Sixteen titanium. That's pretty, pretty okay. Oh, um, my drink turned into rotten food. Now, what are the other quests? It's rare, but sadly happens. Yeah, the the thing for me would just be like, what's the like? How does it happen? Like, is it, you know, if you're interacting with this while doing this, then an item gets deleted? Or is it just, like, totally random? Because if it's totally random, then that is not good. I don't believe it's random. It's unknown. Yeah, I mean, really, when it comes to bugs, there's... Not really such thing as truly random. It may feel random, but it's always isolated to something actual. Um, do I have to kill these guys? I feel like I probably do. Oh, they're all such babes. Whoa! That's really loud. Yeah, that was really loud. I don't like how loud that was. Gosh. Gosh, that is obnoxious. Oh, hey, some corpses. And 40 throwing stars. Interesting. Uh, then what else do we have? We've got this guy, and this guy. Yeah. Recursive auto-crafting basically means crafting anything from raw materials, no matter how many crafting stops are needed. Oh, okay. So, like, skipping the, skipping the sort of, like, intermediate materials, I'm assuming is what you're meaning. Like, taking ore and turning that directly into a sword? 
instead of having to make bars and then that kind of is that what you're essentially saying that's cool you dealt with the fae of course i dealt with the fae who do i look like i don't think i've ever seen fae enemies before though so that was weird just look like i don't know chubby girls All right, so there's going to be another enemy, uh, presumably in the exact same underground sewer that I was just in. Um, I wonder if it would behoove me to simply dig from here. Are they going to be mad? No. Once I get through the brick and hit mud, it'll go faster. I tried looking at Starbound mods like the the guts for a while, but it felt so beyond me. Like, I mean, I don't think I'm an idiot. I could be wrong, but it was just so much more than I could understand. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Can I poke you? Yes, I can. Come on! Ouch! That did a heck of a lot of damage. Dude, this guy has a lot of health. This is going to take a while. Oof. Oh, gosh. At least I'm, like, safe, right? You can't really jump up here. I love exploiting AI, it's great. Can I even hit him now? No. Do I have any other weapon that would allow... Yeah. Shooting him with a shotgun. Good deal. Few other mods planned. Really fast geo cracker. Fast with like the auto farm. Animal farm that doesn't use animals. Animal farm that doesn't use animals. I'll have to explain that a little bit. Would you be using something to like um, simulate animals, or would you just say like? Okay, alright, so you use capture pods, and then it'll read the capture pods for what's in them, and then I assume it'll poop out, yeah, poop out the crafting materials that way. It's interesting. Come on. I wish I could see how much health this dude still has. Come on. Um, I feel like he might be... He might be lying though, right? And that would suck. Yeah, okay. You are too quick to trust your enemy. So he, he still wants to fight. I know, I know how it goes. This ain't my first rodeo. 
Way less leggy. Yeah, honestly, I've only done one farm, and I maybe had 20 animals, and it didn't feel super leggy, but I can... I don't know, I just even kind of felt like it was annoying. But I wasn't using any ITD stuff. You know, I wasn't... I wasn't, um having the items automatically get harvested or anything like that. And that made it really annoying for me. Okay, I think we can polish him off the rest of the way. A secret note? What does it say? I hid the treasure in the hut in the swamp to the east. Well, don't mind if I do. I had a lot of people coming to my mod because too much lag from ITD. Animals are a good resource source. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the meat performance. That totally makes sense. I, I, I can see that because I was noticing that even though it wasn't like stuttering on my machine, I don't know if it would be like considered scripts or whatever, but like everything would happen at the same time. Like like every animal would poop at exactly the same time. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what, but just like kind of odd. Some oddness there. Type debug. Do you have to do admin first? I've never done any of the console stuff. See game log? Okay. Can you just like... Ah, okay. You do have to do admin first. That's fine. Dude, there we go. It's like I'm walking across the entire side. Put a stop to Izumi's crime spree. Oh, and you got something else for me? Another. Really? It's gonna be in the same. <laughs> it's gonna be in the same underground sewer. I'll bet you anything. Yeah, it looks like it. it you can see the needle turning. Yeah, yeah. Admin first. Sure, we'll check it out. Oh, that's a lot of things. Uh, I okay. All right, okay. Fidelity and the two below that. I'll have to remember that. Okay, so... You wanna fight? You wanna fight, I'll win. I'll win, because I cheat. Fidelity tells you how much backup power you have. Man, che cheesing these battles is is really lame. I gotta be honest with myself. I mean, I'm I'm not ready for like this wasteland is like a tier four planet basically, and up until I found this little avian settlement, all of my gear was like tier one. Another secret note: Don't forget the loot left at the hut in the swamp east from here. Well, hell, looks like that hut is gonna be loaded.
how the game is currently running. Proper values, 60 and 20. Okay, so not that. Is it this one then? Or one of these huts? Or something? This must be one. Below that you experience enemies teleporting. Okay. So I've never seen any of that. Oh, here's the other one on that. Lagoon trousers. Uh, you want to fight? I, I never surrender. You don't get to surrender. Is this, a, this is going to be a hive. Hey, a bee! Bees are the best. Um, yeah, I don't. Not the not the enemy bees. Those are actually the worst. Um, what is it telling me? Oh, okay. It's all good. Oh my god, I hate spider webs. They slow you down so much. Honey is a pretty big offender too, but at least it's like you still move. If you've never tried to get those giant trees and mix them with other type of trees that give you interesting stuff like fruits and geodes. Why do you just wind up getting um, giant trees that also generate those resources? I mean, that would be my guess. Definitely seems useful. I pretty much only ever bother planting trees simply to get wood out of it. Man, for, for beehive, I have only caught one bee. And that's really disappointing. The whole reason I had even uh, dropped down to this planet was to catch bees like this guy. Honey drone. Okay, well, I already have the honey bees. And I have like three quests to get um, ore masons. Poisonous air detected. We might have to beam up to my ship and come back down. Just because it's easier that way. I think it eliminates any weather that you're experiencing. God, I'm so slow. Oh, rude. It's a bad bee. Not a good bee. There's a good bee. Another honey. A glitch farm? There are also trees that give you plant fiber. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yay, a new friend. I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend guy. Something, an orchid. Yeah. 
I kind of assumed that if there were going to be all these quests um, that people gave me for getting ore masons, that they would be, like, around. And it wouldn't be, like, impossible to find them. Especially getting three. Three quests for people who want me to get them uh, ore masons. Another orchid. Man, that does not make me happy. Screw off, bees. What did I ever do to you? Oh, there's some angry... Let's help. It's free experience and pixels. What did I get there? Oh, spare parts. Okay. Cool. So this must go back to the wasteland biome. We're out of the hive. Get all plants and seeds. Yeah. I do know about that stuff. Um, this is my, like, second playthrough with Fracken Universe. Um, a lot of stuff is still, like, new. Uh, so I plan on exploring some of the deeper systems as I go along. Um, like, I'm going to be doing um, some tutorials with some of those um, more complex things. I'm planning on doing at least one with ITDs because I have not... Uh, I've not done anything with um, making item networks at all. Like I haven't, I have not touched it. Um, okay, good. I'm actually really surprised that um, that this that all these bees are still alive. Uh, let's take these puppies out. Give it some space. Wow, twenty. So these almost assuredly are going to be, oh wow, that was very quick. Um, actually, let's go that way. Okay, something else there. So these ones where there's multiple are almost going to brewing. Yeah, I know brewing is good for money for sure. Um, I never have an issue with pixels though. I mean, I'm sitting at thirty-eight thousand, and I'm basically on like tier two planets. Um, but yeah, the large stacks are going to be carbon copies of the initial queen, so that'll be like a good launch pad, I suppose, and hope that other things are better. So we've got orchids, so these need to be bumblebees. Nine hundred research. Yep. When you identify a big stack, um, it gives you equivalent research. Finally. So we've got one forty-two, one three, one forty-two, three three. All things being equal. One forty-two zero three, which will get tossed, and I think these twenty will get sold as well. Uh, the one two. We have one more. 14233 is right now the contender, but that's pretty disappointing. 14213. Yeah, okay. So then let's ID the four. And then we'll ID the five right away as well. Get the bumblebee going again right away. Oh, it's nighttime now, of course. Well, let's take that out. 
these guys will get going. Anything that can stack here? No, those are all separate items. Okay, let's try to find an orchid that's better than 5931. That is worse. 5961, all things being equal, it is better. And 5941. Um, doesn't have any significant advantages. 5931 with one additional lifespan. I think I prefer 5961. First breed, yeah, you want to breed so that you can get day and night for sure. Um, that requires crossbreeding, which I'm not really going to be doing quite yet. But yes, I I do know that that is a, a true thing. Um, the thing about mite resistance, I'm on a barren planet right now. And I have noticed that um, a, as a barren planet, I had, on a barren planet, I have never encountered mites. I have never had any issues with mites. So it's been really convenient um, for kind of like a blank slate, you know, to, to determine like what, by what process is the best, um, because there are no other factors that are impeding, um, you know, science. 74231, that is spicy. That is spicy. Um, let's identify these queens, because theoretically they could have a subtype that's more relevant than what I've got. Nope, Orchid Orchid is what I'm already using. And Honeybee Plated, I think, is also what I am using. So all of these can go... Spidey this guy. Orchid, orchid. Oh, that was one of the ones that came out of the sky. Like from the from the that. So um here's what we're gonna do really quick. Because I think There you go. Take those extra drones. Um, just so I have them. And this queen can go. All of the drones can go. Um, these are additional. This one is the best. We have not done another generation of, so we can take this out for this. My only concern really ever is um, like losing, losing the bees. If I, uh, if I leave the planet, and then come back after a long time, the queen will have died, all the drones will have died, and if that's my last one, um, I'm really screwed. So what I typically try to do is have, you know, kind of the, the best queen from each generation ready to go so that if I do come back and all of the um, all of the drones are dead, I still have, you know, and there was no queen that was bred um, that I've still got, like, like I'm not super far behind. I've only lost out on one generation max. Um, I'm going to take those. And I think all I want to do here 
is just pop them like this. It seems stupid, but I learned um, by going to um, the science outpost that... Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we'll have to do them one at a time then. Um, going to the science outpost, uh, the B refuge there, when world is unloaded, it's essentially frozen. It Yes, you are correct, but bees specifically um, have a mechanic built into them. When you return, um, you may have seen it when I... You may have seen it. You may... Maybe you saw it. Uh, when I came down, there was this little um, hourglass that was spinning over here on the apiaries. And that's basically saying, okay, so how long were you gone? And then they sort of like speed through all of that time with production and um, lifespans. And then once that hourglass is done, then it's as if while you were gone, all of that production happened. Um, which is a interesting mechanic and it makes it feel a heck of a lot better, like leaving bees here and then going somewhere. Um, but it can be a hassle in that very narrow case. What is this? This fuels your power cells. And it, it is a mechanic that I was not even aware of until I had played around with bees pretty significantly. I'll have to get the code that does that. Yeah, um, if that's something you want to do for your animal stuff, that I think is huge. The reason I am doing this, uh, I was trying to explain it before, but I get so easily sidetracked. Um, the bee refuge will buy queens, but if it's, a, if it's a young queen, they only give you pixels. If it is a, an adult queen, they give you items. So, I don't even remember what the items for these queens are, but it's better than pixels. Like, I don't need ten pixels for one of my queens here. And everything else is ready to go. The only other thing would be, um, well, I have all, I have a generation of all of my bees, so I don't think I really need to worry about it. So we're going to go back up, and I forgot the stuff I need for my quests, so very cool. I'm going to go back down immediately. <laughs> Pixels for queens is the worst trade ever. Yeah, I think it's really stupid. I mean, I understand that later in the game, if you're using ITDs, you can get stacks and stacks of dozens of queens, but I would still rather just do what I'm doing and kind of like just pop those queens really quick to get something better for them. Um, I need six bone. I remember that. And what was it? I needed like two... So there's the Ore Mason Queen, six bone, two copper bar. Ore Mason Queen, Ore Mason Queen. Yeah. So I need two copper bars as well, um, which are not in there, nor in there. But they are in here. Two copper. I have one copper bar. Can make some amber chunks. There. Plutonium rods. Bunch of titanium.
So we are just coming up on an hour of the stream. Uh, so this is about that time where I would be done. I'm going to play another hour right away. Um, but for the sake of uh, getting this onto YouTube easily, I separate it into one hour chunks. So I'm going to end the stream. I'll be back in 15 seconds.